All right, what is going on my fitness fam? Coach Jay in the house, my house back for another Technique Tuesday uh, at home edition. So uh, we went over a few of the uh, most common exercises in the previous weeks. Uh, we did the push up, chest press, uh, we did the squat. Uh, I'm gonna do the deadlift today because uh, tomorrow or Tuesday's workout has quite a few de deadlifts in it, including some single leg deadlifts. Um, the key thing for the deadlift is what I want you guys to focus on is that hip hinge, forcing your glutes uh, and your hamstrings to do most of the work. You might feel a little bit in that lower back and that's okay. So as before, we've shown you in our previous Technique Tuesdays, we wanna hinge from the hips, whether you're using a dumbbell or a barbell, you're basically just sliding your knuckles, that bar, the dumbbells never leave your legs. So you're basically kind of like shaving your legs, all right? So imagine you're shaving your legs all the way down to mid shin and then coming right back up, all right? So we could try that with the dumbbell barbell, uh, forcing that hip hinge, keeping that uh, straight bar path so that we are focusing on the glutes and the hamstrings, all right? Once the dumbbell barbell comes forward, you do put a lot of pressure on that lower back and you might feel that more in the lower back. So keep that weight nice and close. The bar path should go all straight up and down as you're standing and hinging, all right? So you're not swinging back and forth, really isolating the glutes and the hamstrings, all right? The other thing uh, I want you guys to focus on is um, the, um, you don't necessarily have to exaggerate it, but kind of squeeze the glutes at the top of that movement. Try not to lean back, we don't want that, but you do want to really force the glutes to engage at the top of that movement, squeezing the glutes. So. One of the other things that you could do at home, if uh, just to kind of warm up or even kind of create that mind to muscle connection for the glutes and the hamstrings, is grab a resistance band if you have one. You're gonna tie it uh, or around a pretty secure object, a pole, uh, a heavy bench, whatever it may be, a pair of dumbbells. And what you're going to do is you're going to, you might've seen this in the, some of the big box gyms. You're just gonna kind of step over it all right, and you're gonna grab, uh, you're gonna grab the handles. It's gonna look kind of awkward, but it's great kind of uh, feedback for your body, mind to muscle connection. So you're gonna hold it here. You want constant tension on that. All right, so I don't want any slack. You're not starting here. You're starting way out front. So this is gonna force you to hinge from the hips. You're gonna slide your hands back, and then you're gonna pull, stand up nice and tall, and hinge forward. And then you're gonna feel that squeeze in the glutes. All right. So of course the more uh, harder, more resistance on that band, the more you're gonna feel it. So this is a great kind of muscle memory, kind of create that movement for that deadlift, all right? So try that when you do your, before you do your deadlifts to kind of warm up the muscles, the glutes and the hamstrings uh, so that when you do the deadlifts, whether it's a single leg, barbell or dumbbell, we've got the right movement and we're activating the right muscles. Let me know how that feels. 